facial recognition is being used to identify American Civil War soldiers who may have otherwise been lost in the sands of time. Computer scientist and history buff Kurt Luther created a free-to-use website, called Civil War Photo Sleuth, that uses facial recognition technology to cross-reference vintage photographs with the database, and hopefully assign a name to unknown subjects. Luther was inspired to launch the website, after he stumbled upon a wartime portrait of his great-great-uncle, who was a Union corporal in the Civil War. The American Civil War lasted from 1861 to 1865. In a medium post, Luther described the moment he came across the photograph of his ancestor at an exhibit titled Pennsylvania Civil War, at Pittsburgh's Heinz History Center in 2013. A modest display case in one corner of the exhibit held a remarkable leather-bound album of Carts de Visite, Luther wrote. My eyes fixed on the inscription above the rightmost image, Croxton, dead 1880. Below it, a seated Union corporal, wearing a sack coat, a full beard and a serious expression, gazed back at me. We couldn't believe our luck, I saw there, for the first time, my Civil War ancestor, great-great-great-uncle Oliver, closing a gap of 150 years, Luther said. The experience prompted Luther to launch Civil War Photo Sleuth this summer. To try it out, users upload an image to the site and tag it with any visible identifiers that can be found in the photo, such as unit and rank insignia, photographer details and inscriptions, according to military images. Details such as these can make a world of a difference during attempts to identify someone. For example, three chevrons and a star signifies a rank of ordnance sergeant for Union and Confederate armies, Slade noted. Then. The site's facial recognition technology goes to work, mapping as many as 27 facial landmarks. It uses those facial landmarks to compare the photo to the more than 10,000 identified photos in the site's archive. What's more, the facial recognition software isn't phased by beards or sideburns, both of which were popular styles during the 19th century. Once it finishes cross-referencing, the site will serve up a slate of possible matches and names. Our initial tests show that face recognition can truly find a needle in a haystack, Luther explained. In just a few seconds, we can identify a mystery photo of an unknown soldier among more than 15,000 possibilities. Luther worked with Ron Coddington, the editor of Military Images magazine, Paul Quigley, the director of the Virginia Center for Civil War Studies and student researchers from From Virginia Tech, to create the site. Coddington believes there were about 40 million photos taken during the Civil War, giving them a sizable sample set to draw from for the archive. I once calculated that there were 40 million photographs of Union soldiers taken during the Civil War, Coddington told military images. Even if only 10% survive, there are 4 million images out there today. Meanwhile, other experts estimate that only 10 to 20% of images collected during the Civil War have had their subjects identified. Luther hopes Civil War Photo Sleuth can help boost that number to 100%. So far, they've been pretty successful. Civil War Photo Sleuth logged roughly 88 matches in a single month, of which 75% were probably or definitely correct, Luther said. And the more people use it, the more likely it is that the site will be able to identify subjects, he added. Ultimately, the site brings new life to Luther's hobby of Civil War Photo Sleuthing. It's important to give names to these faces, Luther told Slate. Images are powerful, and they humanize these people who might otherwise just seem like names on a list or numbers in a casualty report.